the court did not grant damages to the police federation, pointing out that rank and file officers had accepted the 10 hour overtime payment from the government, regardless of the actual hours worked until the new system was put in place. Police Federation wins overtime pay lawsuit against the government. Justice David Batts. The Supreme Court has ruled in favor of the Police Federation about overtime pay for rank and file members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The Police Federation filed a lawsuit in 2019 against the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of National Security, the Attorney General, and the Police Commissioner, complaining that its members had been working more than 40 hours per week without being paid. The Federation argued that this was in breach of the 2008 Heads of Agreement. On Friday, the full court panel, comprising Justice David Batts, Justice Crescentia Brown Beckford, and Justice Tara Carr, ruled that each of the Heads of Agreement between the Federation and the Ministries are binding on the government. This, the court said, created a legitimate expectation from the rank and file police officers that they would be paid for the 10 hours of overtime that they worked. The court has ordered that the government must continue to pay the 10 hours of overtime for police officers until March 31, 2023. The government has also been ordered to put in place by March 31, 2023, the system it said was needed to properly quantify the overtime hours of the police so that members can be accurately compensated. However, the court did not grant damages to the police federation, pointing out that rank and file officers had accepted the 10-hour overtime payment from the government, regardless of the actual hours worked until the new system was put in place. The court suggested that since the government had honored this agreement since April 2008, this already represented agreed liquidated damages. The government must, however, pay the federation. The government of Jamaica should not be allowed to owe any member of the JCF a red cent, and this is not and this is not that I am in support of every police in our force, because few of them should not even be getting their normal pay, much less overtime. The majority of Jamaican policemen deserve full compensation for their hard work and hours spent, and the government should not be allowed to take advantage of their labor. If the government of Jamaica needs to delay compensation or con any sets of workers out of their hard-earned salaries to manage and conceal the government's incompetent leadership, let the members of parliament and the prime minister be that sector to sacrifice their labor. And why should the Prime Minister of Jamaica be allowed to owe any sectors of Jamaican workers after his psychological forced vaccine requirements for public and private sectors workers? The government has mismanaged the pandemic and has done one of the greatest disservices to the people of Jamaica. So many people have lost their jobs and were forced into health difficulties be the choice the Prime Minister and Health Minister convincingly impose on them. After all this, why should the government owe you a red cent?